This entire setup costs less than $500, and this is how I built it. $500 is not cheap, and to play these new games that are coming out, that's the minimum you're gonna have to start out with if you wanna get into a console. This seems like it's only for the upperest of crustiest of people to afford, but we did ours for less than 500. So let's start on Amazon. Starting off with peripherals, this is the Logitech G Pro Mechanical Gaming Keyboard, which if you're not into keyboards, I think this is a good place to dive into for a very affordable price. Then we move on to the Logitech G Pro X Superlight. This is a phenomenal gaming mouse and plenty of reviews on the internet will back that up for a very good price. And because you got sweaty gamer hands, you're definitely going to want a mouse pad that you can throw in the washing machine and then hang dry. Now, the Xbox stereo headset is not the greatest headset of all time, but for 42 bucks, it will get the job done fine. Now, this is the monitor that I ended up settling on, and this actually came with a different stand, but this is 4K, it is not 120 hertz, which is not taking advantage of that other Xbox power that we have, but it is very, very cheap. For $120, getting a very good panel from LG, who makes the panels for most other monitor companies, is a great way to start out into a budget gaming system, and then upgrade that to a larger, better display down the road. So everything you see here was either bought used or bought renewed from Amazon, either through eBay or Amazon. And as you can see, these, all of these items are working perfectly fine. Now the crux to all this, how, like how are we affording to, to get all of this for this cheap? Well, this is where Xbox All Access comes in. And that's the big part of this video's cheapness is the Xbox is now no money up front, yeah! but a monthly fee. I know people don't like monthly fees, but if you're someone who is looking to get into this for rather cheap and needs a machine that could do other things than just play games, I think Xbox All Access Pass is a pretty good option. So how does Xbox All Access work? Xbox is going to be giving you a 24 month plan to pay off that expensive device, just like most phones are nowadays. So Xbox All Access comes down to 35 bucks a month for 24 months. So that's two years of playing on the console and you get your Xbox Live subscription, ultimate subscription, so you can stream games to your phone as well and all of the games that are coming out for Xbox. So if you're someone who doesn't want to dole all the cash up at the front, maybe you don't like it and you want to return it. Well, being able to try this out first would be a good idea because you get all the games that are available on Xbox Live to start out with playing. Let's take a look at the experience. With Xbox All Access, we actually ended up getting, we end up getting a controller, the Xbox itself, and access to all of the games. Now, if you're looking here, you can see that I'm using a keyboard and mouse. This is available to use with select games and throughout the Xbox dashboard. One thing I did notice on a higher resolution screen is that the Xbox web browser here is not full screen and it won't go back even if we check in the settings or hit full screen. This machine definitely can be used for basic computer use because this all works and you can use Google Docs or Microsoft, anything usable through a web UI, but it's not the cleanest interface here so running this on a cheap laptop would be a better option but this does have this option built in if you are looking to get some basic computing done you know if this is your main machine and using the windows key takes you back home i will let, leave a link in the description for a list of games that are compatible with mouse and keyboard the one that i bought did not come in in time so i'm using a random keyboard i had laying around the one i recommended earlier in the video is definitely the one i recommend over this one because this one well, has been sitting in my closet for about 15 years so as you can see the games that are listed to be compatible with keyboard and mouse work just like they would on a computer a nice option is to be able to join discord as well right from the xbox i think this is the biggest addition to the xbox ecosystem in addition to being able to use a keyboard and mouse 
and having some web browser support. This basically gets all ticks all the boxes when it comes to online gaming. Being able to game in this high fidelity for this cheap and affordable is almost unbeatable for the price that you put down. Now you do have a monthly fee for two years on this, but to get you into gaming and playing for two years, you're definitely going to have this console for two years and being able to play games. I think it's worth it, and I think if you don't have a account and you're looking to build some credit while you're younger, this may be a good route for you. That is not financial advice. But here is some advice. This gaming setup for how affordable we got this is very hard to beat. This gives you the games. This gives you a monitor that it doesn't have to be this exact monitor. It could be any other model that you think would fit your budget. This dude climbs like a monkey. <laughs> oh God, there's vampires. But definitely check out eBay and Amazon for renewed items that have been repackaged and are in good new condition, but have a little bit of price knocked off because someone's returned it already. This is also applicable for things in store. I've saved a ton of money over the years doing this, and I think if you're trying to get into a new setup, this is a great way to do it. But don't forget any of the pickles because these videos, for some reason, don't make me any pickles. I can't be paid for pickles, and I think if you're looking for a more portable setup, the Steam Deck would be your next option in this price point.